some people I'm sure would call me a, a pessimist, but I like to say I'm a realist. Like I really try to gauge based on reality and what I'm seeing. And um, yeah, so. Let's go autism. Let's go autism. <laughs> <laughs> you're either of those two things, you're just autistic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, so now I'm just gonna tell people that because I try to get like get into arguments with people. They're like, no, you're like glass is half empty, and I'm Logical like, no, brain, like it's brain. just yeah. Okay, thank you. So and I've always I've always been like that because I've always been autistic, and uh, hello, obviously, hello. Uh, obviously, and so my brain wasn't it's not like I was thinking like oh it's gonna be bad but it wasn't thinking like oh it's gonna be this like perfect like I figured like some things are gonna go wrong that's fine you just go with it you can't fix it or change it now um but it went as close to perfect as you could get um everybody had a lovely time we had a lovely time my my husband and I we planned the whole thing and so it's like the, the morning of was slightly hectic we didn't have like a wedding plan or anything so we had to uh uh, you know set up everything but I wanted to do that which is part of the reason I like didn't want a wedding planner because I, I am creative and I love doing like arts and crafts things so I like made all the decor and stuff so that was like a very fun thing to do it would have been more fun if we had had a little more time because we couldn't get into the venue until noon and so by the time everything and and, and then we were a little late um because we were trying to pack the car and get there so anyway so we were slightly rushed so that was a little hectic um my poor mother only had uh 30 minutes to get ready after she finished setting this stuff up wow. um i know the poor thing um but you know it it there was a lot of logistical things too because i'm autistic and i need things a certain way and so i decided i needed to have the uh uh ceremony at a different location than the reception and so we bust everybody to either location so every most people stayed in our little town and then um you know we bust them to the first location then bust them to the second location so they really didn't have to do anything they just got on the bus and they enjoyed their day and you know we had a great dj who was hilarious i he reminded me of the italian captain jack sparrow <laughs> for some oh, reason brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> um he was hilarious and he is like i think like kind of a well-known like like kind of famous dj they're like a big group um of djs and he was recommended to us by uh one of uh, our, my good italian friends and um he was like one of the most expensive things that we paid for but he was so work worth it because one, he was just fantastic at what he did, but he kind of like became the wedding planner in the like days <laughs> leading up to, he just like took over everything for us. So it was great. Um, but yeah, it was, it was so cool to, you know, I've been traveling to this town since I was four years old. And so we've been telling people, you know, about this town for so many years and nobody really has ever come and visited us so to see you know in the week leading up to the wedding like all of these family and friends that mean so much to us that are actually in the town was really a cool experience you know just waking up getting going out and seeing you know our family and friends getting a cappuccino or a cafe latte or something <laughs> at the at the local bars um it was it was very awesome yeah 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 i mean do you find your day-to-day -day life um when you were over there was was more or less triggering or was easier or harder to navigate much less triggering, much easier to navigate. I always say Italy cures my autism, like as like a kind of a joke, but also like very serious, like but because tell me why I want to know why. Um, yes. And I've thought about that. Like, like, why do I feel so much better there? And like you're saying, Hawaii, like Italy is my happy place and it always has been. But I was like, you know, what really, why is it? And I feel like uh, now discovering I'm autistic, I can really understand. And I think the main reason, there's lots of reasons, but the, the biggest reason I, I think is the, the pace of their life. The pace of their life is slower. They really try to enjoy life. Uh, you know, they take, you know, large breaks at lunch. Um, whereas in America, I don't know about Australia, but you know, we're go, 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 go. Everything's about work. 
where in Italy that's not the case. You know, they take all of August off of work, you know, and they're, they're not so upset. They're not living to work like most Americans are. And my mom, I remember as a kid, when someone would be asking her, like, oh, we're, playing, we're going to Italy for the summer, you know, getting ready to go, and they'd ask her, like, what it's like, and she would always equate it to, it's like, in America, you're running full speed on a treadmill, and then you get to Italy and you step off of it. And that's super true. Uh, and uh, it's just, they're just sl slower the way they do things and it's more enjoyable. You're not rushing to, to get everywhere, to do things. You know, they're, they're very big on, you know, hospitality and like family and friends and, you know, really loving one another and, you know, just treating you well. Like, and I feel like the small talk is not as big either. Like, I feel like if they're going to talk to you, it's very like intentional. Um, so I don't have to really worry about that. Um, and they'll kind of like leave you alone in like stores where again, I don't know about Australia, but in America, you know, that like people will bug you in stores like, oh, can I help you? Like, and, and it's like, <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs>